CSR. Now you can see here, so different points. I consider the highest point by A, lowest point by B, and the midpoint by C and D. Now at point A, at highest point, you can see this is a tension. Tension is along the string. You remember one thing is tension is along the string and toward the center. So this is a tension at A. And the weight at A, weight of the object at A is downward. So you can see the direction of weight and tension. So tension is always along the string that you remember. So this is tension at D, tension at C, tension at B. But weight always in a downward direction. When we are talking about the position C, weight is a downward. This is the direction of the weight. So position B, weight is this. D, you can see the positions, different position and weight, direction of the weight at every point. So direction is same everywhere. I mean, same means what? It is downward. Now forces acting here, we discuss weight and tension. Now here, magnitude of the tension changes here. Tension is different at different point. So that we have to discuss in the coming article. So first we discuss about the point A, means uppermost position. Now, if we are talking about the uppermost position, so I am showing here a diagram with the only uppermost position. So at A, you can see a diagram. At A, we can write necessary centripetal force provided by resultant of these two. And these two, tension and mg, they are in downward. So tension at A plus mg gives us centripetal force. So we can write an equation here. So Ta plus mg gives us centripetal force. Now here, centripetal force, we can use a formula mv square by r. So we get a formula. So tension at A, plus mg is equal to centripetal force is mv square by r. Now I specifically use here va. Why va? Because speed at every point is different. So we have to specify the point. So speed at point A is va. So we get this equation one. Now after that, we have to process this equation and we have to obtain formula for speed at A. Now here at highest position, tension is minimum. So tension is minimum. Minimum means how much? Minimum means zero, not less than that. So tension we consider zero. Tension at A, zero. Now here, we can substitute tension at A, zero. Then we get equation number one. Mg is equal to MVA square by R. In that also we can cancel the common term. MM get cancelled. R is shifted to this side. So we get here Rg is equal to Va square. So this is Va square. So we have to obtain an expression for Va and it is under root Rg. So speed at point A is under root Rg. And this is minimum speed. This is the minimum speed at point A. Why minimum speed? Because we consider tension is minimum at point A. Then this is the minimum speed. Minimum speed means this is the essential minimum speed at point A to complete the vertical circular motion. If speed is less than under root Rg at point A, then the object fall down. It, it does not, means it is unable to complete its vertical circular motion if speed is less than this. So on this article, question may be asked uh, like this. If bucket containing a water, a world in a vertical circle, find out speed at topmost position such that the water does not spill out. If this object is in this bucket, there is water in the bucket. Ke andar pani hai. Then, at topmost position, pe aisa minimum speed find out that the bucket does not fall down. Listen, you know that if you revolve the bucket with larger speed, water does not spill out. But if the bucket ka speed is less, if we go slowly, then the water will fall down. Wala hai. So how much speed at highest point? So it should be so much. Under root Rg. If the speed is less than that, the water spill out. So that you remember. Such kind of question may be asked in the MCQ, may be asked in the problem also. So you have to remember this formula, under root Rg. Now after that, next point we have to consider and it is lowest position. 
Now again at lowest position we obtain expression for speed. So I shown a diagram with the lowest point only. The lowest point is B. Now at point B you can see a direction of mg and direction of the tension. So resultant of these two provide the centripetal force. Now you can see here they having a different direction. So resultant is tension minus mg. They provide the centripetal force. So I can write here. So tension at B minus mg is the centripetal force. So tension at B as it is, mg as it is centripetal force, I can write at point B. So it's a point B. So velocity I written Vb. So mvb square by r. So this is the formula for centripetal force. Centripetal force is equal to Tb minus mg. And now by using this, we have to obtain speed at point B. Agar pe, in the previous article, we use tension minimum. So minimum value we substitute 0 and then we obtain the speed. The same logic we cannot use here. So you know that Tension at lowest point is greater than the highest. But how much more, how much uh, larger maximum? Basically, how much the tension string bear? That amount. We cannot decide the maximum limit of the tension here. So we are not using that logic to obtain speed at point B. So we can use here conservation of energy. So by conservation of energy, when the point mass is coming from topmost position A, so when it is coming A to B, so we can write decrease in the potential energy. So at point A, it has a potential energy and the potential energy is mgh. So when it is coming down, so we can write that potential energy is change into the kinetic energy. So we can write here decrease in the gravitational potential energy is equal to change in kinetic energy. Abhi yaha pe B point pe potential energy kitna hoga yaha pe potential energy hai 0. So decrease in potential energy kya aega? MGH minus 0. MGH e aega. Abhi kinetic energy. So kinetic energy at A I can write 1 by 2 MVA square. And B pe kinetic energy mein likhunga 1 by 2 MVB square. So change in kinetic energy dono ka difference aega. So ab dek sakte yaha pe amne likha hai. Thik hai. So, here the potential energy tha MGH and here it was 0. So, the difference will be MGH minus 0. MGH minus 0 is MGH. But how much height is this point? The height is the lowest point. So, this is R and this R. R plus R, 2R. So, decrease in gravitational potential energy will be Mg into height. Height is 2R. And change in kinetic energy. So, here 1 by 2 MVB square. And here pe aja 1 by 2 m v a square. So, dono ka difference. So, dono ka difference aap yaha pe dek sakte hai. Uske baad. So, I can take here 1 by 2 m common. So, yaha pe common liya to hume bracket mein mil jata hai v b square minus v a square. Now, we can cancel the common term. m m get cancelled. So, after cancelling that, next step is. This 2 humne is side shift kiya hai. So, 2 multiply ho jaya ga. So, 4 r g is equal to v b square minus v a square. Uske baad humme speed at point A malume kitna hai V A is equal to under root R G jo is se pehle wale article mein nikala tha. To ye hum substitute karenge V A ki jaga. And V A substitute kiya to A ki variable yaha pe bach jata hai V B. To V B mil jayega. So let me substitute in the next step. Ab dek sakte yaha pe. To same equation hai V B ke liye likha hai. And then I can substitute V A. To V A mein ne substitute kar diya. Under root R G. Uska square karenge to R G bach jayega. So, here we get 4RG plus RG comes 5RG. So, VB square is 5RG. So, VB is out So, under root 5RG. Under root 5RG, this is speed at point B. Okay. So, this is the minimum possible speed. Now, see, we have the topmost VA, which came here, I also minimum bola tha. Yaha pe bhi minimum. What is this? तो यहां पे भी एक चीज याद रखो अगर ऑब्जेक्ट वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन में जा रहा है तो यहां पे स्पीड होना चाहिए इस पॉइंट पे अंडर रूट फाइ आर जी अगर नहीं हुआ उससे कम हुआ तो क्या होगा अगर उससे कम है तो पार्टिकल जो भी ऑब्जेक्ट है ऊपर तक जाएगा एंड यहां से नीचे गिर जाएगा इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ मच डिस्टेंस इट कवर इट डिपेंड्स ऑन दिस स्पीड 
अगर ये अंडर रूट फाइव आर जी है तो ये कंप्लीट करेगा वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन अगर इससे कम है तो कहीं पे तो जाके नीचे गिरेगा उससे ज्यादा है तो चल जाएगा कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट दिस इज द मिनिमम स्पीड सो दिस इज द मिनिमम पॉसिबल स्पीड एट लोवेस्ट पॉइंट टू कंप्लीट वर्टिकल सर्क्यूलर मोशन तो ये हो गया मिनिमम स्पीड तो इसका मतलब हमने इससे पहले क्या देखा है हाइएस्ट पॉइंट पे मिनिमम स्पीड क्या था हाइएस्ट पॉइंट पे मिनिमम स्पीड हमें मिला अंडर रूट आर जी और लोवेस्ट पॉइंट पे हमें मिला अंडर रूट फाइव आर जी तो ये याद रखो 